All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushim. This is Rabbi Bangad, Zealot of Israel camp. And uh, I want to touch on this because I saw this article a week ago. And I also want to bring out another article I saw another, a whole month ago before this article um, about the world's economy and, and, and supplies running low. All right. I just want to touch on this briefly because it's just an update in news and prophecy. You know, as a watchman of, of the Heavenly Father like myself and this true sincere man of Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, we are to watch out for these things and warn the people and give them biblical pre pretense of what's what's to come. Okay. Um let's go ahead and go into this. Now this is Yahoo off of Yahoo Finance. The world economy is suddenly running low on everything. Okay, Bloomberg. A year ago, as the pandemic pandemic ravaged country after country, and economies shuttered. Consumers were the ones panic buying. Today on the rebound, it's companies furiously trying to stock up. Mattress producers to car manufacturers to aluminum foil makers are buying more material than they need to survive the breakneck speed at which demand for foods is recovering and a sausage that primal fear of running out. The frenzy is pushing supply chains to the brink of seizing up shortages Transportation bottlenecks, price spikes are nearing the highest levels in recent memory, raising concern that a supercharged global economy will stoke inflation. All right. And that's something that's been going on. All right. Inflation has been going on for a long time um, because, you know, the global economy and its value, not just the U.S. dollar, the U.S. dollar is tanking at an all time low. That's why. That's why they're taxing you. That's why, you know, they're, they're put they're, uh You know, that's why certain things are going going out the way they are. All right. You know, I'll just put it like that. Um, but the point being, point being, um, you know, it, it, it referenced multiple different avenues of uh, means of living. Mattress producers, car manufacturers, aluminum foil, so on and so forth. These things are, you know, they're running out of these materials. So they're <clears throat> mass producing at a at a rate and a level that's not really conducive. All right. That's not really necessary, I should say. Because you have to let allow uh, materials and the resources that you use to make these materials. Um, these materials you need to allow it to uh, have time to grow, all right, or reproduce on its own. And you know they're they're going at a at a very fast rate at reproducing these things, and it's going to run it's going to run its course on the earth and its materials, and they're going to be you know you're going to be out of luck sooner or later, all right. Now going. Go, uh, continuing on, copper, iron ore, and steel, co corn, coffee, wheat, and so soybeans, lumber, semiconductors, plastic, and cardboard for pa packaging. The world's seemingly low on all of it. All right, it's low. It's low on all of these things. You name it, and we have a shortage on it. Tom Lindbergh, chairman of chief executive of engine and generator Manufacturer Cummins Inc. said on a call this month, clients are trying to get everything they can because they see high demand. Jennifer Rumsey, the Columbus, Indiana-based company's president, said they think it's going to extend into next year. The difference, the difference between the big brunch, I mean the big crunch of 2021 and past supplies disruptions is the sheer magnitude of it and the fact that there, that there is a f as far as anyone can tell no clear end in sight big or small few businesses are spread all right um you know i can read on 
Um, but this pandemic, not pandemic, pandemic that they caused last year had ramifications <laughs> and it was all orchestrated, you know, um, and all praise to the most high, because this is what, this is what needs to happen, you know, and this is why you might see certain things go cheap, you know, and certain things go, you know, go cheap and go low. And you can see, you can see certain things, you know, of course they've, you know, certain, you know, I think the housing, housing industry is kind of, you know, is, is becoming more affordable here and there. But point being is these things are um, running low. And if, you know, and, you know, in, 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 especially in America, like, um, like I was looking at last year, there's going to be a global famine coming into this year. But see, you don't feel the ripple effects of it or the after effects or the ramifications of it till the year after and the year after that. That's when it really takes effect. OK, so everything, the supply is chain is running low on everything, you know, and that's how, you know, we don't have there is not much time in this damn earth now. All right. Or at least. In this rulership. That's why this man is trying super hard to get everybody vaccinated. You know. With the damn um, nanotechnology. You know, the mark of the beast that they have, man. So, let me go ahead and go back. And let's go to this. All right. I'm going to just bring out this article and then I'm going to go ahead and bring out the scriptures. It says Fed sees supply chain issues growing despite better U.S. outlook. And this is off of supply chain brain. All right. People that cover the supply chain. The Federal Reserve is seeing both labor and material shortages mounting up. And this is from what date is this from? April 15th. All right. Federal Reserve is seeing both labor and material shortages mounting up across several sectors of the U.S. economy which may have consumers paying even more for everything from fuel to new homes. In the Fed's Beach Book report released Wednesday, the central bank references shortages or shortages, or reference shortage or shortages, the 37 times up six mentions from a previous decade high total in March. That's also 12 times more than the same period in 2020 during the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic. See that? Shortages have been a persist, persistent economic theme since the early days of the outbreak. When the store shelves were completely empty of lockdown necessities such as toilet paper and hand sanitizer and personal protective equipment, more than a year after the pandemic's onset, scarcity see, uh, concerns are primarily focus around global supply chain issues and strengthening demand in the rebounding economy. The regional banks in Dallas, Philadelphia, San Francisco, and all noted that the week long Suez canal block has contributed to contributed to the shortages. All right. The regional or overviews mentioned the shortages related to the microchips and semiconductors nine times the same total as March reading, but up from zero references in Janu January 2021. All right. So everybody's feeling this, man. And, you know, if you think I'm going to tell you something, if you think that this <laughs> that this place is going to be around here in 2030, man, you know, if you don't see what's going on with these times right now, then you have no clue what's about to come. Okay. Because these things are coming. It's coming fast, man. And the shortages um, and everything that comes with it. All right. Now, you know, in certain cases, there's certain things that are for cheap and there's certain things that are in, you know, that it's causing inflammation within the monetary system. You know, um, and of course, you know, with this damn devil dealing with the Edomites, so-called white, white men that rules is the the elites for that matter. Um, you know, they're ramping up the prices and whatnot. 
in taxes. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's like a it's really like a uh, it's really like a um, a domino effect of what you know what, what's going on right now. You know, and they and they got people where they want them, but the, at the end of the day, it's you know the most high causing this to happen because the Lord the Lord is about to uh, destroy this place, man. You know, so with that being said. That being said, let's go ahead and go to the scriptures. All right. Let's go ahead and go ahead and go to the excuse me. Let's go to the scriptures real quick. Let's go ahead and go to first and foremost. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12. Let's go to the first verse. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy, now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the, day, while the evil days come not. So this is the time, especially you, brothers and sisters that are in the true, you know, to come out of her, my people, you know, or to come, come out of the ways of America, I should say, in the mentality. All right. Remember that now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days draw not, or the evil days come not. Okay. And the evil days are coming, you know, like we're in the calm, calm before the storm, but you know, the Lord is showing many signs that, <laughs> a supply chain, everything that, that, you, you know, that, you know, everything that you have, that you need of necessity of day-to-day -day, uh, necessities, that's running low, which signifies this place coming to an end. All right. It says, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right. Right. And we're not supposed to have pleasure in these days, man. We're supposed to be looking at the signs and the times hoping for the salvation of our our nation, ourselves, and the kingdom. We're not supposed to be having our, placing our hearts on the desires of this world, all right? We set our sights on things above because this materialistic uh, society, <laughs> those that are caught up in it, they're going to have a rude awakening when these, things ha when these things come to an end, man, okay? So verse two, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the verse three, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves, the grinders cease because they are, uh, they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. And right now you seeing the grind, the grinding ceasing right now, because Unemployment rate is at an all high, all time high. People are getting laid off, you know, and the grinders are ceasing, you know, and businesses are being exited out. You know, of course, they're, they're talking about, um, you know, loosening certain COVID-19 restrictions, you know, for those that have had the vaccine. And that's a whole nother topic in and of itself because that leads to the mark of the beast. But, you know, damage is done. And it's going to um, continue to grow as time goes on to the point where, you know, necessity is going to necessities are going to be limited. All right. And jobs are going to be limited. So verse four, the door shall be shut in, in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise at up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All right. So. All these things are being brought low. All these things are being, um, you know, are being destroyed. All right. The most high is, um, you know, he's taking this place down, man. And it's clear to see. And, you know, all the, like I said, businesses, jobs, they're being wiped out right now. Okay. And you're going to see the ripple effects of this the after effects as time progresses and it's progressing very fast this place is not going past 20 
uh, at, at the very least 20, 30, man. If you can't see that, then you're blind. And even before then, you know, Lord willing, I mean, through the spirit, you know, we don't really have much time, period. But we take things day by day and we look through things um, through a spiritual lens. And it's high time for, you know, the elect to be fully awoken and 144,000 to be sealed, you know. And we're approaching that time very, very soon. Now, I just want to grab one more scripture touching on this topic. I want to go to Second Ezra, the second chapter, uh, the sixteenth chapter, and I believe the twenty-four verse. Uh, let's see. Second Ezra sixteen and twenty-one, and it reads: "Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth, all right, that they shall." shall think themselves to be in good case. Even then shall evils grow upon earth. All right. So it says, victuals shall be so good, so uh, good cheap upon the earth. Right. And people right now, you know, even in the midst of this pandemic, you know, are hoping for the best. Oh, they're seeing COVID-19 COVID restrictions being lifted. Right. But everything, there's a reason why things are, you know, victuals, the foods and necessities are becoming cheap because the supply chain's running low, you know, in a sense, you know. And they don't know that it's for their detriment. So let me read on to be so in they it's like, it's like you behold, the victuals shall be so good cheap upon the upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. They shall think themselves to be in a good case, right? The false sense of security. Even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion, right? And it's going to cause a great famine, you know, a fool. There shall be great evils upon earth, you know. They're trying to push, you know, all these new new world order philosophies and agendas that they're trying to push on the masses, you know, they're trying to, um, you know, they're trying to initiate martial law, you know, and they're causing great confusion in Babylon, the great Babylon means confusion. And this is Babylon, the great itself. Verse 22, for many of them that dwell, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the others that escape the hunger shall, shall the sword destroy. Right. So there's going to be people that escape famine. There, there are going to be a lot of people that die of famine. There shall be them that escape famine, but shall perish by by the edge of the sword, man. By way of martial law, and by way of, uh, you know. The full out anarchy that's going to come to America. Verse 23, and the dead shall be cast out as dung and there shall be no man to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. So, you know, it's going to get rough. It's going to get significantly rough. And we're reading it out the scriptures and you we see those signs, vastly, uh, those signs of the times, and these things that are being spoken of vastly approaching, vastly approaching, excuse me. All right. So with that said, I want to say call law, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. This is Ray Abba God from the Zealous of Israel Cramp. I want to say call, much love to you, sincere brothers and sisters in the truth, and the priests, and pro, priests prophets, and elders sincerely in this truth. With that said, I want to say call law, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Till next time, Shalom.